ready. It's Tuesday, February 12th, 2012. Oh, no, not 2012, 2013. And it's time for the next installment of Insta Vlogs. Yeah, it's another vlogging day. Uh, as you know, Mondays are my uh, sort of uh, wrap up day. It's where I look at what I did the week before and plan for the week ahead. So it interrupts our new flow where. Uh, we are doing a sort of, uh, we brought the, U the YouTube stroll into uh, the vlogs, the daily vlogs, uh, because a lot of the stuff I was uh, trying to sort of talk about, some of them overlap, but also there's too much information just to leave to uh, the, uh, the extras. So I brought them into the vlog. It gives us a little bit more time to talk about them. Uh, give, so the average year instant vlog now it's going to be about 10 minutes. The uh, Big Bang Theory extras are going to be about 15 minutes in length. And then beyond that, we go to the uh, the documentary zone, which is coming up. And that will be about an hour, an hour or more. So anything beyond a half, anything half hour and beyond is in the doc zone. That's sort of the way we're going to go with it. Uh, anything that uh, is about 15 minutes. In length, that's going to be the Big Bang Theory extras, and then anything that is 10 minutes and under is going to be here on the Insta vlogs. In other words, we're going to try to give you a little bit of something on every level here, and so uh, depending on what you like, you can choose what you pick and choose what you want to see, what you don't want to see. Anyways, uh, we were talking about uh, last time. We we're talking about uh, uh, we were uh, talking about uh, whew. oh yeah. We're talking about night, nice guys, spiritual poison, uh, and nice guys was done by uh, was on the page. Nice guys finished last was on the page of Ali Bongo. Uh, we had talked about how uh, players uh, often use the line uh, "nice guys finish last." There's also a guy phrase uh, being stuck in the friend zone. So do we sort of expand upon on Ali Bongo in sort of. Uh, She's on the girls' side of things. I'm sort of explaining the guys' side of things, uh, and I'm not necessarily saying the sta I'm not a standard guy. I'm a geek, basically, so I'm kind of outside of that zone. But from what I've seen on my side of things, it's uh, a guy isn't supposed to be the friend to the girl. He's supposed to be the pursuer, and she's supposed to be the prey. She's supposed to be the object, and this kind of leads into the whole thing of spiritual poison and uh, gay rights because it, it's. It, 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 uh, homosexuality in, in itself, yes, it's spiritual poison, but spiritual poison covers a lot more territory, including uh, basically the sexualization, the objectification of a person or something like that uh, along those lines, it, it, it's along the Freudian lines. If, if your behavior becomes more Freudian, uh, then you start moving away from the spiritual and towards more of the physical, and this is the function of uh, spiritual poison is to destroy the soul and to have the person be solely physical so at the end of life when the person dies uh, the soul dies with the person so but the thing is is that uh, as we look at things and we sort of look at how things move along we find that we go over to uh, oh, this is one of the other one of the uh, videos I came across uh, Morgan Page loves uh, she talked about boxes of boxes and how people are put into different uh, boxes in society. And the problem is that we all are put into boxes, whether we like it to or not. And uh, that's because uh, some people, even though they protest about being put into boxes, actually want to be put into boxes. They want to be... Uh, and this is sort of where, where what we call your peer grouping is. Uh, people have a tendency to hang out with, with people who are like them. So let's say you have a group of people who call themselves non-mainstream, and I've done this before. You always just look at any rocker uh, who's into Ozzy Osbourne, like the death metal people, and what they say about the mainstream uh, people who like Justin Bieber and so on and so forth. And they're like, oh, that's all a bunch of crap, that's all about, you know. And they talk about how non-mainstream they are. And how individualist they, you know, individual, individualistic they, they are, and that they don't want to be boxed in by mainstream society. Yet when you go to the concert, you go to a, like, like an Ozzy Osbourne concert, 
and you look around, you find that everybody there is dressed exactly the same. So what's happened is that uh, while these people protest about being put into boxes, because they are peers with other people and they fit in with that particular group in society, these are the, the you know these are the Osborne the, 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 the death metal people. Uh, uh, they've actually conformed to a group that now got a peer and now they've been boxed. They put themselves in this box, even though they protest about being put into boxes. So people, although they do protest being put into boxes, uh, aren't actually themselves putting themselves into a box because they don't want to be put into a particular uh, a. a but they don't want, and this is what most people don't want, they don't want to be put into the loser and reject box. And there are, there is a box of losers and rejects, the people who just don't fit in anywhere. And I'm one of them. And it's just that there isn't a particular group that I can hang out with and not feel like an outsider. No matter what group I feel uh, that, that, I, that I'm hanging out with, I'm always the outsider. I'm always the stranger. I'm always the person on the outside looking in. I'm never the central or the core of the group. Uh, I'm always sort of there on the fringes, and it doesn't matter whether I'm there or not there. Uh, it's, it's, I'm a peripheral to the group. And this is, this is where myself and others who are like myself are put into this sort of call, if you want to call it a loser box, or the reject box, because you've been rejected from all these other different peer groupings, and there's a whole bunch of different peer groupings, the, uh, including a whole bunch of groupings with the nerds. Nerds themselves have groupings, even though uh, uh, the, uh, the arguments on, on a hepticon of nerds say, well, there really isn't a grouping of nerds, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the nerdiness, uh, uh, you can't define it. Well, you can sort of to do a degree, you can define nerdiness to a certain degree, and because the theater geeks and theater nerds are certainly different from the science geeks. And even the science geeks themselves are differentiated by the type of science that they're into. And so what happens here is that you, once again, you start seeing groupings and pairings. And so if a person fits well within a science geek grouping, they'll hang out with a whole bunch of science geeks. If a person, uh, you know, fits in primarily with a, a, a grouping of theater geeks, if that's their primary thing, they're going to be theater geeks and theater nerds. But there are people, again, like myself, who fit into no grouping, even though we have overlapping interests and areas, the actual grouping that you belong to is none of, none of the above. Because you, you, while you do have some in common, you don't have enough in common to be part of that particular group. And that's sort of the, the issue with me, my, my particular issue, is there's not enough of what I have in my interests that are in, is in common with other people so that I really don't have a boxing or a group in that I actually fit into other than the loser and reject group. So that's going to leave us sort of leave this here for now. Our 10 minutes are more or less up, and we are going to see you again on Wednesday, and we're going to continue picking up with this whole boxes and peers thing from Morgan Page. All right, take it easy. Have a good day.